Hi everyone, um, today I'm going to do a tutorial on the Charles Call Ghetto Baby makeup look. Um, you know the one, I don't know, <laughs> the one that everyone likes I think. And yeah, this is great for a prom maybe as well, or just a going out look, whatever. And sorry I'm talking so fast, my camera is dying, so I'll just try to get it all in. But uh, stay tuned for the video! <laughs> So as always, I'm going to start off with my eyelid primer and blending it all over my eye. Now I'm taking a light, like beige color and apply that all over my lid. Now I'm taking a shimmery beige color and apply that in the inner corner. Just like in a third. Now I'm taking a bronzy brown shade and put that in the outer corner. I'm taking my blending brush and just kind of blend it. Oh, someone's at the door. Huh. What about this? taking a matte brown to define the V, <laughs> the outer V. If you don't have an angled brush like this, you can just put a tissue there or tape or something and then it should create that line. Actually, she extended it quite far out. Well, not she, her makeup artist did. <laughs> and then just take it in where your crease is. Um, I'm not going to take it in further than my pupil. That's what it looks like on her. Actually, no, it extends quite far in. But don't add more color towards the inside. And then blend. She also has a bit of an orange tint, and I'm just gonna apply that here. Just where I made that line earlier. And again, blend. Now I've got to deepen the outer V. So I'll just keep it quite close on your um, socket line, on your crease. And then blend.
So like if you have lighter skin, this might be easier for you. Like the orange will show up better, but if you're dark skin, you might have to like layer on a couple layers. <laughs> And now for the brow bone highlight, just taking a creamy, shimmery shade. And then that shimmery shade in the inner corner again. I can't find my glitter, you guys. So, because I know she has glitter on her, um, in her video. But I can't find mine, so I'm going to have to... Just do without and just use a shimmery shade only. Sad. Just one last blending. Now for the bottom lid, um, lash line, you just want to take that matte brown and just line your lash. Line. And she did it quite thick. I don't normally do it this thick because I have small eyes and it just makes it look even smaller. I'm gonna take a bit of black as well. Make it a little bit darker. Next I'm gonna apply a cold pencil to my waterline and tight line. And now the eyeliner. I always start in the outer corner and go in. Some more. Do the same on the other eye. And with whatever is left over, just put it a bit on your lash line. And then smudge it out. Now I'm just gonna quickly do my brows. Hers are quite, well, they're medium size and quite dark. And mine are dark already, so I'm just gonna define it a little bit. But you can go ahead and do your brows as you normally do. Maybe a little darker, because this is, of course, a nighttime look, I suppose. I nearly forgot. Curling lashes and applying mascara. So I applied some mascara and of course some falsies. As you can see, she always wears these thick, flicked out lashes. And um, the glue is still drying. You might see some white bits. But yeah, that's pretty much done. Now I'm just going to move on to the face. And since I just got my makeup forever, I'm just going to apply that. I'm taking my Real Techniques buffing brush. Oh wow. It matches my skin. See, I always start in the center of my face because that's like where my trouble zones are. And then just kind of blend it out. Take it down my neck. So I just did the whole of my face and down my neck with just one pump of the HD foundation. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm always excited with like new foundations. Well, I gotta say I like the look of it and the feel. It's like it's not too dry and not too dewy either. Impressed guys, I'm impressed. Time for a concealer. I always have to correct under my eyes with like a 
peachy color, which is the NC, sorry, NW40 Studio Sculpt by MAC. And then a highlight under my eyes with the Select Cover Up in NC43. And whatever is left over, I just go in my T-zone. She really loves her contour, so I'm just going to contour in the hollows on my cheeks. And I'm using a sleek foundation, which is quite dark. I'm using it with a light hand. It's better to just slowly build up than having to wipe it off. I stay in the contour line and then just kind of do it in circle, circular motion so it's blended. I'm going to set my under eyes with um, the banana powder by Ben Nye. Whew, this seems like a lot of makeup. Sure is. <laughs> now I'm taking a coral. Yeah, she has like a corally pinkish blush. This one I'm gonna use. And I just put that above my um, contours. Oh no, my battery is dying. I have to hurry up. Okay. Quickly just highlight, gosh, on the top of the cheekbones, bridge my nose, keep the bow, chin, blah. Man, why does my battery have to die? Let's charge it as well. Now for the lips, she kept it quite very, very nude actually. So for that, I'm using my lip pencil in cork just to line my lips. And then a, another lip liner to fill it in. It's called uh, Sub Subculture, also by MAC. See, she has a much lighter lip, but um, since um, I have darker skin, I don't want to go that light and it will look weird. Okay, I hope the camera caught that, but I just applied a, uh, a nude, sorry, I'm just looking, <laughs> I just applied a nude lip gloss. And I'm just talking quickly now, that's the makeup done. I hope you like it. I hope you subscribe or like and request and all that. Um, I'm going to have a little giveaway soon because um, I'm very happy about all the subscribers and yeah, you know, it makes my heart melt. <laughs> um, anything else? Uh, yeah. Um, I have a vlog channel and uh, my sister has a vlog channel so I'll put the links somewhere around here and then you can go on it and hopefully subscribe. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!